Hi, my name is Castudis, and in this video, I'll explain what is React, its main features, and why you should use it. So, let's get started. If you're into website development or you're currently learning JavaScript, you must have heard about React. So, let's start with the basics. What is React? React, also known as ReactJS, is one of the most popular JavaScript open source libraries. It was created in 2011 by Meta, formerly Facebook, and released to the public in 2013. But ReactJS is not a JavaScript framework, it's a library. That means React is only responsible for rendering the components of an application's view layer. It can be an alternative to frameworks like Angular and Vue if you want more freedom when building your project. Some famous React users include Instagram, Netflix, and Reddit. But why is it so popular among big companies? Since React is a library, you can combine it with any available framework to create complex functions. React contains a collection of reusable JavaScript code snippets for UI building. These snippets are called components. They are small, independent pieces that can be assembled to form a complex user interface. When building a website's UI using React, you can think of it as putting Lego pieces into anything you want. For example, if you open Netflix, you'll see components like the navigation bar and rows that sort content according to certain criteria. All these parts make up the Netflix UI, which you see every time you open the homepage. But these components also adapt to the user's preferences. So, while the top movie section is always there, its content will change. So, what makes React so popular? To answer that question, let's walk through its features. First, components and props. ReactJS divides the UI into parts of reusable pieces of code known as components. They work similarly to JavaScript functions by accepting arbitrary inputs called properties or simply put props. Return the React elements determine how the UI will look at the client end. You can have as many components as necessary without cluttering your code. Second, state management. A state is a JavaScript object that represents a part of a component. It changes whenever a user interacts with the application rendering a new UI to reflect the modifications. For example, the heart icon changing when you click like on Instagram. Meanwhile, state management is the practice of managing React application states. It includes storing data in third-party state management libraries and triggering the re-rendering process each time the data is changed. A state management library facilitates communication and data sharing between React components. Several third-party libraries are available today, with Redux and Recoil being two of the most popular. Next, JSX. JSX is a JavaScript syntax extension for creating React components. It lets you write HTML elements in JavaScript, converting the HTML tags into React. JSX can simplify complex code structures by accepting valid JavaScript expressions and function embedding. Moreover, JSX can help combat cross-site scripting attacks by converting embedded values to strings before rendering them. As a result, it will be impossible to inject extra code unless it is explicitly written in the application. Another feature is Virtual DOM. The Document Object Model, or simply DOM, presents a web page in a data tree structure. ReactJS stores virtual DOM trees in the memory, so it can apply updates to specific parts, not the entire data tree. Therefore, the rendering process is faster. ReactJS will generate a new virtual DOM tree whenever there's a change in data. It will then compare it with the previous one to find the quickest way to apply changes in the real DOM. So, if there's an update, the rendering process will take less time and use fewer resources. It's especially beneficial for large projects with intense user interaction. And finally, programmatic navigation. Programmatic navigation refers to when lines of code create an action that redirects a user. For example, when you log in or sign up for a new website, it will programmatically navigate you to new pages. React has its own standard routing library called React Router. 
It provides multiple ways to navigate programmatically between components without a user having to click on a link. In short, the React Router package synchronizes the UI with the URL, giving you control over the look of React applications without depending on links. When researching React.js, you probably also heard about React Native. React Native is an open-source JavaScript framework built on the React library. It uses native APIs to render mobile UI components in Objective-C for iOS or Java for Android. Because of that, developers can create platform-specific components and share the source code across multiple platforms. But React.js and React Native do have some similarities. First, both React.js and React Native are based on JavaScript, so you need to learn JavaScript to master them. Second, they use a component-based architecture, so you have the ability to create separate header, content, or sidebar elements, then group them together into one complex UI. Also, they have the same state to manage data in each component and props to pass data between components. In addition, both use React hooks to have access to state and other React features. With this new feature, writing a class is no longer needed. Now that you've learned the similarities, let's move on to the differences between React.js and React Native. The main difference is that React.js is a library, while React Native is a framework. React.js is ideal for creating dynamic web applications. In comparison, React Native is more suitable for building the UI of a mobile application. In terms of rendering code, React.js uses Virtual DOM, which means it's still using HTML as the base. Meanwhile, React Native uses native APIs, not HTML. This is what makes the code written using React Native run in both iOS and Android systems. Next, the styling process. React.js uses CSS to create animations and other visual elements. In contrast, React Native uses style sheet, which is similar to CSS style sheets, to create visual elements and the animated API to create animations and interactive patterns. So, we talked about what is React.js, what are its main features, and how it's different from React Native. But why should you use React? Well, it's easy to use. If you know JavaScript, you can figure out how React works in no time. As React relies on plain JavaScript and has a component-based approach, it's even possible to start developing web-based applications after a couple of days of studying it. Even if you aren't familiar with JavaScript, tons of websites provide coding lessons for free. Once you know the basics of JavaScript, read up on React.js to streamline the front-end development process. Second, it supports reusable Java components. With React, you can reuse components that have been developed into other applications. Since React.js is open source, it's possible to pre-build components. This helps to cut down the development time of complex web applications. You can also nest components to create complex functions without bloating the code. As each component has its own controls, it's easy to maintain them. Another reason is easier component writing. Because of the JSX integration, it's easier to write React components. It also simplifies multiple function rendering, keeping the code lean without reducing the app's capabilities. And when it comes to React's official command line interface tool called Create React App, it further streamlines single page application development. Create React App features a modern setup process with pre configured tools and is excellent for learning React.js. Furthermore, React offers high performance. I've told you about React's virtual DOM in the previous section. By storing virtual DOM in the memory, React eliminates excessive re-rendering to optimize performance. Plus, React follows a unidirectional data flow, making it easier to debug errors. And finally, it's SEO friendly. React.js may improve the web application search engine optimization by increasing its performance. Virtual DOM, for example, helps boost page speed. Besides that, React helps search engines navigate web applications by performing server-side rendering. This tackles one of the most significant issues that JavaScript-heavy websites encounter. That is, the challenge that search engines usually find to crawl them. 
3CAP React.js is a powerful library that you can use to build various types of web applications. It is component-based, so when you want to change or add something to the code, you can do it with no hassle. If you have further questions about React.js, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video helpful. For more awesome content like this, make sure to subscribe to Hostinger Academy. Best of luck in your online journey!